1965, Billboard magazine named Harlan Howard America's all-time favorite country songwriter. And 32 years later, he's still got the tiger by the tail. He's written more than 4,000 songs, and they've been recorded by everyone from Tex Ritter, Kitty Wells, and his idol, Ernest Tubb, to Dean Martin, Burl Ives, and Ella Fitzgerald. One year, he had 15 tunes on the chart at one time. And tonight, we're going to sing a few of the many Harlan Howard songs that have become standards, beginning with his first hit, a song he wrote 40 years ago when he was a struggling wannabe songwriter. wrote only one song for Patsy Cline because he said, there'll never be another Patsy. Johnny Cash to Ray Charles recorded this classic. My bills are all due, and the baby needs shoes, and I'm busted. Well, cotton is down to a quarter a pound, and I'm busted. I got a cow that's gone dry, and a hen that won't lay. A big stack of bills getting bigger each day. The county is gonna haul my belongings away, cause I'm busted. Harlan says, I write about things people do, whether they should or not. had to pick one song and call it Harlan's greatest hit, it would have to be this one. Now I've got heartaches by the numbers, troubles by the score. Every day you love me less, each day I love you more. Yes, I've got heartaches by the numbers, I love that I can't win But the day that I stop counting That's the day my world will The Country Music Hall of Fame is proud to honor the Dean of Country Songwriters, ladies and gentlemen, the great Harlan Howard. Thank you, boys and girls, country music fans everywhere. I love you. You make my heart feel real good. Thank you. I have a list. By the way, 37 years on Music Row, a lot of awards tonight. There's going to be winners and losers. I just want you to know in 37 years is my first CMA award, and it's a nice one. So don't you guys be crying around here. All right, I'd also like to say congratulations to Brenda Lee, one of your finest ladies and best singers. 
I really thought she'd been in the Hall of Fame 15 or 20 years ago. I didn't know that she was just being inducted tonight. I love you, Brenda. Congratulations. Cindy Walker, you're my hero, you're my teacher, my mentor. If I woke up tomorrow morning without you in the Hall of Fame beside me, I would have really had the blues. Congratulations to you. All right, guys, quickly out to the West Coast. Thank God I met Johnny Bond and Tex Fritter, my first publishers, two honest cowboys I've missed so, so much through the years. And getting back to where it all began, I'd like to thank God for giving me a creative ability. And that wonderful night when I was about 12 years old on a farm in Michigan, and I accidentally found Ernest Tubb in the Grand Ole Opry, and it gave me a direction to take my ability. And here I am, 97 years later, or whatever it is, you know. <laughs> and uh, anyhow, I'd like to also thank the Buck Owens, my starvation buddy in arms, all that great song we wrote, the most honest singer. Uh, every time Buck said, I'm cutting that song, he did it, and I wish I had a few more friends like that. <laughs> Ray Price, wherever you are, Ray, I thank you. Not only me, but a bunch of guys. You picked us, you picked me up off the fork truck, set me down in Nashville, and made me a professional writer. I love you, Ray. My family's here tonight. I would love Owen Bradley Chedak and my favorite producers. God bless you. Good health to you. My family's here tonight. Jennifer Perry Clemmy, my child bride Melanie. God bless you. Last couple of years I've been like a little puny, but I'm gonna get well and take you to that castle in Dublin, I promise. Good night and thank you. Way to go, Harlan Howard. Congratulations. Well deserved. <laughs>